you've been saying for the last few weeks it's going to come and tonight it finally arrived. Yep, yeah, I've said it all along. Uh, I've just said to the lads there, great performance, but that's been coming for the last five weeks since I've changed the squad over. Uh, it was just a matter of time. You know, we, we, we've got a, a bit of a scrappy goal, uh, the first one, but that's just sets the tone. Uh, I'm absolutely over the moon, absolutely over the moon, because I've said someone will get it iron. Uh, and unfortunately tonight it was Winsford. Um, yes, they got a man sent off, but you know I've still got to have uh, give credit to my lads for keep going because sometimes it's difficult to play with ten men or against ten men. Sorry, but yeah, I'm over the moon. <laughs> um, do you think there was a bit of a change of look tonight? That first goal could have been not given for you. Yeah, I mean you know like I said you know it, it's it swings and round about you know you get your luck when you know when you need it most. Uh, and, and I think as the season's been going on, there's things like that that haven't happened for us. Uh, tonight it's happened, it's, you know, it's turned the game. You know, we've gone win, uh, one nil up. It's something to defend. Uh, and then as the game's just grow, we've we, we've grown as a team. Uh, Liam Nethercroft's been tremendous tonight. Uh, but to be fair, they all have. Um, but it might have come at a cost there uh, because I've had a few injuries on, on the night as well. So, you know, that could be sort of sour. But at the moment, I've just told the lads enjoy <laughs> enjoy the moment because it's been a long time coming. Uh, um, you must be pleased with the way you defended because after you went 1 0 up, I thought Winsford were the better side until you got the second goal. Yeah, but I mean, you know, again, that comes with the, the little bit of nerves. You know, all, all of a sudden, we're actually winning a game of football. Uh, and, you know, I said to the lads, Winsford, you know, they're not a bad football side, Winsford. And I've said, you know, they'll have a go at you, whatever, you know, whether they go 1 0 up or we go 1 0 up, they'll have a go. And I just think, you know, I think because we've gone 1 0 up, I think they just went a little bit. Uh, Tentative, if you like, uh, but once again, once we got our foot on the ball and, and, and we started playing again, because we were going a little bit predictable after uh, after we scored, and you know, I was getting uh, information on just to get it settled down, get get the ball back playing, get back down and play, you know, and pass and moving, you know, we started doing things like that, and then once we got a, a grip back on the game, I think there was only going to be one winner anyway. Second half though, there was some fine passing movement. Well, again, that that's a credit to the lads, you know, and that obviously uh, the coaching staff, if you like him. Um, you know, we, we asked them to play football when they can play football and de defend. You know, it's like I say, it's basic football. It's just football is making uh, <laughs> they make it uh, twisted in the mind somewhere along the line. The, the players, you know, but football is a simple game. Uh, it's the players that complicate it. Must be pleased. Uh, Carl Furlong got off the mark today. Franny Barry got a couple of goals. Well, it's nice that seven of the goals, three of me forwards have scored. Uh, two apiece, uh, so that's a, that's a good start, uh, you know. And I've got Stephen Jones there, but I don't know if Stephen will be out for a while because he's he's got a bad injury on his uh, his elbow. Uh, but we'll look at that, you know, later on tonight and uh, early out it will tomorrow sometime. But you know, it, it's a it's a great feeling. It's been a long time coming, and you know, it's an absolute credit to all you know the squad that I've got. It's an absolute credit. Uh, can you give us an update if you've got any on Adam Farley and Stephen Williams? Uh, well, Stephen's obviously, he, he, he fell awkwardly on his ankle. Uh, you know, the law being to the physio sometimes tomorrow with a bit of luck. Uh, Adam Farley's got a bit of a uh, knock on his knee. Um, so hopefully the law will be right for Saturday. Uh, because again, you know, it's nice to win games of football, but to go and get three, possibly four of your starting lineup, possibly struggling for Saturday, you know, it's. It puts a bit of a sour, t sour taste on the results at the moment. But, you know, we've got three points. We've got seven goals. We've kept a clean sheet. So there's loads and loads of positives. Uh, but I've been saying it for a while. I've been saying it for a while. Must be positive, though, that the substitutes you brought on just slotted in straight away. Well, you know, we had to sort of uh, change it around. You know, with Adam coming off, Steve Corris has gone uh, centre-half there. And you think he'd played there all his life type thing. You know, young James Buckley's come from the left side, gone into centre the midfield. He, he's done his, 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 uh, his chances no harm. Young Mukhtar's come on, fitted in well. You know, you've got Carl Furlong, who's 35, keeps telling everyone he's 30. Uh, and, you know, he, he's come on and scored two goals. But, you know, the positive thing is we've got three points, and it's only three points at the end of the night. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a start, uh, and we've got a clean sheet with it as well. Is this the, the confidence gain tonight you can carry forward for the rest of the season? Well, again, you know, over the last five weeks, Paul, look, you know, I've said it all along, we've played really, really well, mate. And, you know, how we haven't got the results that we deserved over the last couple, especially the last three or four games, you know, I, I, I don't know. But somewhere along the line, and I said it, and I know, like a broken echo, but someone was going to get it.
and you know, Streetsy, I've got a lot of time for Streetsy, their manager, and you've just said to him, you know, I said, I don't think they deserve the seven, like, but you know, I, I'm happy. I'll take whatever win I can get, and to get seven, it's great. Well, congratulations, you deserved it, and uh, let's hope there's many more along the way. I'll have to keep this muzzy, no, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> and I wish Pat had stopped winning the round. <laughs> James Buckley score of AFC Liverpool's third goal. First, uh, first start for you. Another goal. You must be pleased with your performance today. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. Uh, first half, I thought I struggled a little bit, but apart from that, I'm chuffed with myself. Yeah. Yeah. Want to talk us through your goal? Uh, well, it was just a ball played over the top. Bit of a loose ball. Seen the right back coming across, and I've just uh, I was a bit half-hearted with it, but I've just seen the keeper coming out at the same time. Placed it over the top. It's dropped in nicely. You must be full of confidence having second goal in two matches. Yeah, 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 I'm full of confidence now and having a few more touches than usual, that's given me more confidence. I'm settling in with the team a bit more now, so yeah, I'm playing in all different positions, which I'm liking, finding the right place for me and the team. You played well uh, both down the wing and in the centre of midfield when you had to move over due to substitutions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, central midfield is one of my preferred roles, like because left wing. My fitness needs a lot of improvement at the moment, but that's what I'm looking to do, just improve and improve throughout the season. I can only improve uh, your fitness if you keep getting match, uh, full matches. That's it. So, f f like, first start today, I'd, I'd expect a lot more for the first win as well. <laughs> <laughs> looking to be in the team on Saturday then? Yeah, I c can't wait for that one. And hopefully another win, definitely another win, actually. Confidence high throughout the dressing room now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's had a lot of frowns in there lately and not a bit of mixed emotions, but today it was a big change. I'm well proud of as well. You're not, you've been playing well over the last few games, but just not getting the breaks, and today you got them. That's it. We deserved a, f a few wins, like not just that one, but today. We, uh, Morsey said like uh, the first win we have is going to be a thrash, and <laughs> we, we <laughs> proved that one, didn't we? But all credit to them with 10 men, they still thought throughout but we just didn't sh show off or take the take the mick or whatever as to put it we just did the simple stuff and made it count must be pleased by the way the team defended uh, in the first half when it was only one nil because Winsford had a real go at you yeah very very much well they had it a lot at the right side so as you can see my I was like I wasn't even wearing studs neither so I was slipping all over the show but all credit to Darren the left back and, and both centre backs and the right back Callum it was quality defending, but all throughout the team, played very well. And when the second goal went in, and then the third, <laughs> it was happy days. 7-0, you must be pleased with that result. Absolutely made up. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? But, you know, the belief's been there the whole time, within the lads, within the manager, all the staff, and made up. It was a long time coming. Is that... Uh all the hard work that you've been putting in over the last few weeks, has it finally paid off for you tonight, do you think? Yeah, I think it has. I mean, the fans have even noted we've been playing game after game. We've been on top in every game. We're just not getting the results. And even the opposition fans are all giving it. You should have a better team. You should have won. And I think finally it's paid off today. So, absolutely made up. And... Uh must have been pleased by the way you defended because Winsford came at you after you got the, f the first goal. Yeah, they, they, was, they had a spell about 10 15 minutes after the first goal. Um, to be fair, like they worked it well, they were all about in the midfield and that, but we kept the shape, got ourselves back into the game, got the second goal, and then from there on in, after the, after the half time, it was just a matter of keeping the, <coughs> keeping the nil and not letting them get the first goal. And once we got the third goal, it was just push on and get the rest. Yeah, once that third goal in, you could see the confidence flowing yeah. through the team and those nice passing moves all over the shop. Yeah, there was, I mean, there was, I could have picked about nine or ten man of the matches there on the, on the park today. And young Bucko coming for the start, absolutely brilliant. Franny Barry just shows the turn of luck, that, that uh, second, second goal of his. I mean, any other game that would have went wide or the keyboard would have saved it. So it's hopefully time, time to turn now. Must be pleasing that uh, all three strikers got on the score sheet as well. Yeah, I think they'll be more made up than I am, but um, it's just not been happening, has it? But now, I think we'll push on now. I think uh, the confidence has been the team, and now we've got the first win under our belt. Just carry on. Just got that monkey off your back now. Yeah, hopefully. That's more, he's the monkey, isn't he? <laughs> Do you want me to put that on the website? <laughs> Throw it on. <laughs> um, just a word about yourself. You 
We seem to be Mr. Versatile, right back, centre midfield, right midfield, left midfield, now centre back. I'll just do anything for the team, you know what I mean? I'll just do whatever Morsey <laughs> tells me to do. Well, no, I, I honestly thought I probably did better at centre half tonight. It probably wasn't my best game in centre mid, but um, it was one of them. The game had already gone by the time I went back, so it was just easy. <laughs> All right. And do you just want to give a quick word about your manager then? Um, he's, be, he's been brilliant, honestly. Like The belief's been there the whole time. He's been, he, he never comes in and just rants on, rants on. It's always he's picking up on the positives and then we work on the negatives. It happens every week and I'm just made up for him as well because he's deserved that when he's, he knows how hard we've been working and it's all been for him, we've been working and for the fans. So made up for him. Well, congratulations and here's to many more victories. Yeah, definitely. Thanks a lot.